All right, good morning, literature class. I am so glad to be able to do a video lesson with you. We are going to do a data reflection with our SRI data and the reports from our reading. Go ahead and start by putting your name on your paper. Today is March 27th, 2015, if you are doing this on the day we are in class. The first thing that we're going to do for step one is we're going to explore our SRI and reading reports. We're going to use the circle map to record our information. So you can see that I've created my circle map. The topic of the circle map is data reflection. I've drawn the frame around my circle map, and we're going to be using our progress report and our reading report. And these are going to be the information that gives us um, data to complete our circle map. For this assignment, the things that I write in purple you also need to write. The things that I write in red will be examples for how you will be applying this for yourself. So taking a look, the two reports that you should have are the progress report, which looks like this, the graph on it, and then you also need the reading report, which looks like this. I'm going to start by looking at my progress report, and I'm going to look at the two documents at once so that I can record some reflections. So one of the things when I look at my progress report is that I see this line that graphs my progress on my reading level. And for my report, I see that I've steadily gone up since the beginning of the year. I've only taken three tests, unlike some other students who have taken more. And I see that throughout each test, I've gone up by a little bit each time. So I'm going to write in my report consistently. Okay. I'm going to, that's my general trend for this report. Each time, I've gone up. I also want to record some basic information. So for example, on my report you can see that I started at an 883 and my most recent test was a 976. So since the beginning of the year I've gone up almost 100 points. So I'm going to write since start of year up almost 100 points. And you'll be doing this for your report. I could also look and see, okay, well, hmm, I went up more between the first two tests than I have the last two tests, but I don't think I need to report that in my reflection. I also see this bar that says our grade level average, which is a 625, and I like to see that I'm higher than average. But when I look at seeing college and career readiness, that's at a 1355, which shows me that I'm not quite ready for college and career. So I'm about 300 points away from being ready for college. Away from college. I also think about how this report makes me feel, and I feel pretty proud of my growth, so I'm going to add proud. I also look here at the year-end proficiency range, and I see that by the end of the year I should be at a 925 to a 1080. Nine, and I'm at a 976, so I'm in the range, but I'd rather be at the top of the range. So I'm going to put in range, would rather be higher. Okay, and that's all the information that I'm going to pull from this report. If I wanted to, I could look at the back, and this has the individual Lexiles. If I want to see, okay, I started below grade level, now I'm on grade level, I'd rather be above grade level, so that's what I'm going to work towards. All right. Let me take a look at my other report, and this is my reading report. And here on my report, it shows how I've done in terms of the books that I've been reading so far this year. So the books that I've read are all listed on this report right here. I see that the reading levels are listed for each of the reports, as well as the score that I got on each of the quizzes and my total words read. I've read 150,000 words so far this year, which I feel is a little pretty good. I'm going to write 150,000 words, but I think I could do better. Okay. I also see um, in terms of the quizzes that I've taken, I haven't passed a couple of quizzes. For example, I see that I got no points for Robinson Caruso, and I didn't get any points for Diary of Wimpy Kid, but I've taken it three times. So I'm going to put, I need to take... Diary of a Wimpy Kid again. I also see that the average Lexile of the books that I've been reading, 865, is a little bit lower than my Lexile. I probably should be reading higher books. So I'm going to put read higher 
books. Okay. If you haven't begun working on your circle map, please pause and go ahead and do that before we continue on to the next step. If you're ready to move on, we're going to turn the page and complete step two. Step two asks us to reflect on our improvement or decline in reading level. We're going to create a multi-flow map identifying the cause of this. Here's the frame for my multi-flow map. I see that I've created just one side because I'm only identifying the causes. And I'm going to say my reading level has improved nearly 100 points since the beginning of the year. And then I'm going to think of three reasons why my reading level has gone up by this many points. And I'll say, okay, I read 150,000 words, and I think that that helped me. So read 150,000 words, and that helped make my reading level go up. I think also I pretty consistently do my homework, so I read 15 minutes a day. And I'm always trying to focus very hard in class. Now your reading level might have gone down, in which case you should be reflecting on why it might have gone down. Perhaps you're not reading enough or you're not reading at home. Maybe your behavior is not appropriate during class. You would want to reflect about the causes for your reading level going down or staying stagnant, which means the same. Now I'm going to take a look at this paragraph frame if I've completed my map. If you have not completed your map, pause the video to complete your thinking map. Then we're going to translate this into a paragraph. So I'm using this frame to complete my paragraph. You don't need to use the frame, but your response should be at least five sentences. So here I begin. My reading level went up by almost 100 points since the beginning of the year. I believe this happened because I've read 150,000 words. Oops, I've read 150,000 words. Also, I read 15 minutes a day. Additionally, I always focus in class. And then I conclude my paragraph. These are the reasons I believe my reading level has consistently gone up. Go ahead and pause if you feel like you still need more time to finish your paragraph before we move on to the next step. All right, let's go ahead and go to step three. Step number three asks us to reflect on our improvement or decline in reading level. We're going to create a multi-flow map identifying the effects of this. So my reading level, again, has gone up almost 100 points. And then Ms. Antonson has suggested, or I have suggested, three different types of effects that I am going to complete. So one thing is a hope. I hope by the end of the year, I have 150 points of growth. And then I feel, because I've gone up by 100 points and I only have 50 to go, I feel very motivated right now to keep going to improve. And then what are things that I'm going to plan? Well, I've noticed that the more I read, the more my lexile goes up. So I plan to read even more. So I plan to read way more words. And now I'm ready to complete my paragraph. So, since, so I'm going to begin again by my reading level has gone up almost 100 points this year. And then what are my hopes? I hope to end the year with 150 points of growth. Since my reading level has gone up, I feel motivated to <coughs> keep going. Also, I plan to keep reading to increase my words read. 
And then I'll conclude, these are just some of the effects of my reading level improving. Go ahead and complete this These section. are just some of the things that I'm going to do. Go ahead and complete your map and your sentence frame, or your, excuse me, your paragraph at this time. Okay, now let's move on to the final step. Step four asks us to make a plan to continue improving your reading level and your total words read. Create a sequence map identifying the steps you will take to see additional growth and improvement. You can see that I've set up a frame with five steps. You are going to have five steps also. So think about the things that you need to do, whether you're looking to read more words or you're looking to raise your lexile level. What are the things that you will do to see the improvement that you're looking for? So for example, I plan on read two books during spring break. I think that's going to be fine. I'm going to try to read for one hour for every five hours of video games I play. I think that uh, by then I will read enough books to make up for two books because I plan on playing lots and lots of video games. All right. For the next step, hmm, what else can I do? Well, I think one thing that I'll do is I'll, I'll retake quizzes that I haven't already passed. I might even be able to do that at the end of class today when we're done with uh, this reflection. Another step that I'll take is I'll keep focusing on my classwork. Next, I'm going to, hmm, what could I do to raise my reading level? I'm going to try to read 500,000 words by the end of the year. I know that the goal is a million, but I feel pretty far away from that, and I'm not very confident that I'm going to get to a million. So my first goal is going to be 500,000. And then lastly, I think that one thing that I'll do is I'm going to come to tutoring at least twice a month. Now I'm going to take my sequence map and translate it into this paragraph. And I've set up this paragraph to help your frame. So it says, there are many things I'm going to do in order to continue improving my reading level. And then I'm going to list each of these steps as complete sentences. First I will, then I am going to, next I will, after that I will, finally I will. And then concluding with hopefully these actions, or excuse me, it says this, but these actions will help me improve my reading level. Go ahead and complete this frame. I'm out of time, so I'm not going to complete it for you. Thank you for working hard on your reflection. When you're done with this, you can work on Typing Club, but your whole packet needs to be complete.